I am Professor Prado, and I am the leading author of the paper Extraction Methods for Obtaining Natural Blue Colorants, co-authored by my colleagues Professor Veggie, Dr. Nacha Neves, and Professor Meirelles, a team of Brazilian researchers. Today, most blue coloring agents used by the food industry are synthetic. There only exist few natural blue colorants which in this work are presented in a literature survey along with the methods currently used for their recovery from natural sources. The main natural sources of blue colorants are flowers, fruits, vegetables and algae. The best extraction methods and process parameters for the extraction of blue anthocyanins, genipin and phycocyanin are presented. Blue color is uncommon in nature. Anthocyanins can be recovered from a variety of plants, and the blue shades exist mainly in flowers. The source of phycocyanin are algae and cyanobacteria. Its use as a natural colorant has already been approved in, it, in the US and European Union. Genipin is a colorless substance that can be obtained from the fruits of Gardenia jasminoides and Genipa americana. When the pulp is exposed to oxygen, a reaction involving amino acids takes place and the blue color arises. Several extraction techniques have been applied to recover blue colorants from natural sources, from classical methods using organic solvents to more sophisticated technologies. The traditional solvent extraction techniques include maceration, agitation, soaking, shaking, soxlet and percolation. They are simple and inexpensive, however, they are also time and solving consuming. Maceration was used to extract up to 195 mg of phycocyanin per gram of spirulina. Ultrasound assisted extraction has been used as a tool to accelerate analytical processes. The acoustic cavitation generated by the ultrasonic waves can disrupt the cell wall, thus releasing intracellular content and accelerating the extraction process. It is a selective and versatile extraction method and still decreases the solvent consumption. It has been applied to recover 110 mg of phycocyanin per gram of spirulina. In enzyme-assisted extraction, the enzymes break the cell walls thus releasing intracellular content. This technique uses low temperature, thus avoiding thermodegradation of compounds. It has been used to recover 196 mg of genipin per gram of pulp of Genipa americana. Supercritical fluid extraction is a technique that uses a solvent above its critical temperature and pressure. Under these conditions, the density of the solvent is liquid-like, whereas the viscosity is gas-like, which makes an interesting combination to reach diffusivities higher than liquids. The main solvent used is carbon dioxide, which may be added with the co-solvent, because of its low cost, toxicity and flammability. It has been applied to recover 90.74% of the phycocyanin present in spirulina. Another high-pressure extraction method used to recover natural blue colorants is pressurized liquid extraction. In this method, the solvent is pressurized but still in the liquid phase, which improves the diffusivity. It is a selective method which requires less amount of solvent and shorter process time. It has been used to recover 48.6 mg of genipin per gram of pulp of Genipa americana. From this work, it was concluded that there is great potential for anthocyanins, phycocyanin and genipin use as natural food additives with health benefits, besides imparting calm. However, the technologies for the blue colorants recovery and application are not mature enough, so that this area is still developing. Moreover, it is necessary to evaluate the economic feasibility of the proposed extraction processes, along with the safety and acceptance of colored food using these additives. Finally, 
the authors are grateful to the National Council for Scientific and Technological Development of Brazil and coordination for the improvement of higher education personnel of Brazil for funding the research. Thank you.